For this crochet project, you're going to be using your 5.75 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. The brand of yarn that I'm using is I Love This Cotton. I'm not using this color. This is some information about this yarn. It's 100% cotton. The colors that I chose are this beautiful turquoise blue and then the sparkle light blue. So there's actually a little sparkle, metallic sparkle in the yarn. I'm going to start with the darker blue for this pattern. Now this pattern requires a multiple of 10. You could get away with a multiple of 5, but the multiple of 5 would give you a half wave. So this is a wave stitch that I'm going to be showing you. The first thing you're going to do is just take your main colored yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop, then take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then you're just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then go ahead and just cinch the loop around the crochet hook, and then we're going to make a chain. I'm just going to show you the first four to show you how to make the chain. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, three, and four. So you're going to start with a chain of 30 if you're following along with me. Again, if you're starting with your own chain, again, you want it to be a multiple of 10. You can get away with a multiple of 5, but it's going to give you a half wave, which is the stitch that I'm showing you on this video tutorial. So now I have a chain of 30. I'm going to hold that last stitch with my middle finger and thumb. Then I'm going to chain one to move up to the next row. Now you want to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you're holding. So go ahead, go into the stitch that you're holding, bring up a loop, make your single crochet, and then that counts as your first stitch for this next row. So then, in the second stitch over, you're going to make a single crochet. So now I have two single crochet stitches for the next row, and you want a total of five. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop for your third single crochet. Next stitch for your fourth single crochet and then the next stitch for your fifth single crochet. So this is half of your wave, the one single crochet and five stitches. Now you're going to make one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So you just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two of the loops, two loops remaining. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the two remaining loops. So we just completed one double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch over to complete your second double crochet. Next stitch for your third double crochet. Next stitch for your fourth. And then your last double crochet into the fifth stitch. And then you've completed one wave. And this is actually a half wave. When we move up to the next row, we're going to complete the wave. So you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way back across. I'll make one more set with you. You're going to make one single crochet into the next five stitches. Then 
Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then you just completed your second wave, or I should say your half wave. So go ahead, finish making, repeating this pattern, five, one single crochet into five stitches, and then one double crochet into five stitches until you reach the end, and then come back. So this is how my work looks so far. I just finished my last double crochet. So now I'm going to move up to the next row. To complete the wave, I want to have a double crochet just like my previous row. So to start the next row, you're going to chain three. Go ahead and turn your work. Now you can see that beneath the chain three, you have this little bit of upslope and then the double crochet directly below it. You're not going to work into this stitch. You're going to work into the next stitch over and you're going to yarn over, go into that next stitch and make your double crochet. You're grabbing both loops of the stitch. Bring up a loop, make your double crochet. So that first chain three counts as your first double crochet for this row and this is your second. You're going to make one double crochet into a total of five stitches or five total double crochet. So I have three so far. Here's my fourth. And my fifth. So I just completed the top part of the wave. Now you're going to make one single crochet into the next five stitches which should be directly over the previous rows, five single crochet. And you just completed one full wave. And you're just going to repeat this all the way across back to the end. So now one double crochet into the next five stitches. I'll make one more set with you. So I just finished my five double crochet. Now one single crochet into the next five stitches. And you just keep repeating this pattern all the way across to the end. And then come back. Now you just completed one full wave. So you need two rows to actually complete a full wave. So you can see I have the two rows of single crochet that line up, two rows of the double crochet, and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you how to separate the waves using the crochet into the back loop. So, And we're also going to be alternating the waves. So here, what I mean by that is here you can see your double crochet part of the wave. We're going to move that over here to this side. So here for starting you can see that I have a single crochet in the previous rows so I'm going to start this side with a double crochet. To do that you're going to start with a chain of three. One, two, three. Go ahead and turn your work and then that counts as your first double crochet 
for your next half wave. So then you're going to make one double crochet into each of the stitches until you have a total of five. But the other twist, so you can separate these waves, you're going to be working into the back loop only of the stitch. So with my tapestry needle, I'm going to show you what I mean. So here, you can see your chain three and here's the up slope. You're not going to be working into this stitch. You're going to be working into this stitch, the next stitch over. So here, you can see my tapestry needle is under both loops of that stitch. With your crochet hook, you're going to go right down the center of the stitch and you're going to grab the back loop only and work into that back loop only. So that's what I mean by crocheting into the back loop only. So you're going to take your crochet hook you're going to yarn over you're going to go down the center of the next stitch and grab that back loop only you're going to bring up a loop and then you're going to create your double crochet so I just finished a double crochet in the back loop only and we need a total of one double crochet and a total of five stitches in the back loop only. And what that does is it creates a ridge that will separate your full waves. So remember you need two rows to complete a full wave. So this is my first half of the next wave. And I'm creating it in the back loop only. Now I want to make one single crochet into the next five stitches using the back loop only. And then you're going to repeat this all the way across now my next stitch will be a double crochet into each of the next five back loops of the stitch. And then one single crochet into the next five. So go ahead, repeat this pattern all the way across and then come back. So this is what my work looks like so far and you can see that there's a ridge that formed because you worked in the back loops for this row and then on the front you'll just see a nice separation that's formed distinguishing the two different waves and then I'm also alternating the waves so I kind of moved over the double crochets. So now we're going to finish the top part of the second wave or the fourth row. So now I can see that I ended with single crochet so you want to line up for the completion of the wave you want a single crochet over the top of this single crochet. So to start the next row you're going to chain one and then turn your work. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. So you're not working in the back loop of this stitch because you don't want to create a ridge in the center of your wave. So you're going to go through both loops for this row to complete the top part of the wave. So you finish your second single crochet because the first chain counts as your first single crochet for the row and you want a total of five so this is my third single crochet and again I'm going through both loops of the stitch, the next stitch. Then after I finish my single crochet, one single crochet into five stitches, now I'm ready for the one double crochet into the next five stitches. And again you're going to repeat this all the way across 
I'm going to finish these five stitches with you to show you the full wave. So I just finished a full wave and you can see that on the previous wave the double crochets were here. Now they're over here so they'll be alternating. The next row is going to be over here. So that's the pattern that you're creating with these waves. And then on the back or the wrong side you'll see the ridge that's created. So for our next row we're going to create a ridge. The ridge will always be on the top of your wave separating it from the next wave. So go ahead, finish making your waves all the way across this row. And again, you're making the top of the wave so you're not working in back loops for this row. But you're alternating the one single crochet into five stitches and then one single crochet, one double crochet into the next five stitches. So now this is what my work looks like. You can see the beautiful wave pattern that it's creating. This is the right side and then here is the wrong side with the ridge. So you can see that ridge that is created with the back loop crochet. So now we're ready for the back loop crochet again so we're going to move up to the next row. For my color change pattern, I'm going to be making three full waves before I change colors. Once you get good at it, you can change colors wherever you want and have fun with the different designs using this wave crochet stitch. So I'm going to show you how to move up now for this next row. So I just completed this wave here. So this was a double crochet at the end of this row. I want to start the next half wave with a single crochet. So to do that you need to chain one, turn your work, now you're going to make a single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and again you want a total of five, one single crochet into the next stitch until you have a total of five and again you count your first chain as the first single crochet. So I have three single crochets so far. This is my fourth and the fifth. And if you haven't noticed so far they're lining up with the previous rows five stitches. Now this one the previous row is a double crochet and because I'm moving my wave over I started this one with the single crochet. So you'll be alternating the waves in the same way. So now I'm going to be making a double crochet into the back loop of the next five stitches. So go ahead, finish this full wave. Actually I'll come back to show you how to complete the full wave so you don't work in the back loops by mistake. So this whole row is worked into the back loops and then come back. So this is what my work looks like so far. I just finished the bottom half of my wave. Now I'm going to make the top half for it. And below that you can see where I've completed two waves and I'm about to complete my third. And you can also see how it's alternating. So that's how you can double check your work too to make sure that you're making it correctly. Then on the back you can see the ridge that I'm creating that separates the waves. So here's my first wave, here's my second wave, and now I have the bottom part of the third wave. So I'm going to show you how to make the top part. So here you can see that I ended with the double crochet. And since this is the bottom part of the wave, I want to finish the top part the same way. So I'm going to start with a chain of three. One, two, three. And then turn your work. Now, since we're making the top part of the wave, we don't want a ridge going down the center of your wave, so you're going to go through both loops of the next stitch for your next double crochet. So I'm not working in the back loop. 
I'm grabbing both loops of the next stitch. And then you just make your full wave. One double crochet into each stitch until you have a total of five double crochet. And then you make one single crochet into next five stitches, making sure that you grab both loops of the stitch to complete the full wave. So go ahead, finish this row, and then come back. So I just finished my third wave, or my sixth row. Remember it takes two rows to finish a wave. So here's one, and then I'm also alternating the waves. So here's my first wave, and then here's my second, and my third. So you can see how they're alternating. That way you know you're making it correctly. Also I have no ridges on the right side and then on the wrong side I have a ridge. So here's the ridge and it's separating the waves. So now since I'm starting a new wave I'm going to be using the back loops to create a ridge on top of this one. But before I do that I want to change colors. So to change colors I just finished my last stitch of this row, so I'm going to start by bringing up a loop with my alternate color yarn. So I'm going to bring up a loop, and you want to make sure you leave a good enough loose yarn end for burying into your work. Go ahead and chain one. And then you're going to turn your work over, and then you're going to cut the previous color yarn. And again, you want to leave a little bit of a good loose yarn in for burying into your work. Go ahead and tie a knot. Then you're going to start your new wave with this new color. On the previous row, you could see I ended with a single crochet, so I'm going to want to start with a chain of three for the next row. One, two, three. Go ahead and turn your work. And we're going to be working into the back loops for this row, and at the same time, I'm going to bury my loose yarn ends. So I'm going to yarn over go into the back loop of the next stitch. I'm going behind the loose yarn ends. I'm going to bring up a loop, make my double crochet, and then you can pull on those loose yarn ends to kind of bury them in your work. Now I need a double crochet into the next back loop of the next stitch, going behind the loose yarn ends for my third double crochet. Next back loop, going behind the loose yarn ends for my fourth double crochet. And the next back loop behind the loose yarn ends for my fifth double crochet. Then you can take and kind of pull on the loose yarn ends. Then you know what to do next. You're going to be making one single crochet into the back loop of the next five stitches going behind the loose yarn ends. And you're going to repeat this all the way across and then come back. Now you can see the half wave with the new color is crocheted the exact same way. Now I've reached the end and I want to make the top part of the wave and I know that the previous row was a single crochet so I'm going to chain one, turn my work, 
Now you're making the top part of the wave and you don't want the ridge through the center of the wave so you want both loops of the next stitch and make your single crochet. So that was my second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I'm going to make a double crochet into the next five stitches and I'm grabbing both loops. So go ahead, finish this row, and then come back. And that is all there is to the crochet wave stitch. So for mine, I'm only going to make one row, or one wave I should say, it's actually two rows in a wave, with the light color and then three rows of the darker color. So I'm going to be alternating that way for mine. But I just wanted to point out now, because that's all I'm going to show you, you can go ahead and finish the rest yourself. So now you can see that your edges should be straight. Also, my waves are alternating. And then on the back, you could see that the ridges are on the top of the waves only. So they're not going through the center of the wave. Now if you want to, you can put the back loop ridges through the center for a different design. It's up to you, but I'm showing you the way that I like to make the waves. So there's the ridges on the back, and then there's the waves on the front. So go ahead, finish your Tawashi. And the other thing to remember with this is that with this type of cotton, the colors do bleed. So you'll want to wash this separately by hand. So this is what mine looks like after finish tw finishing 22 rows and I made two color changes. When you're finished you can take and just finish off. Just yarn over and turn the hook upside down and bring enough yarn through just to bury into your work. Then just take your tapestry needle and weave it into the wrong side. On mine, it's the side with the ridges. So I'm just going to take and weave the loose yarn end through the work. And then I like to go back in the other direction as well. And then you can bury your other loose yarn in the same way. And this is how yours should look when you're finished. You can see how I have a straight edge on both sides. And then there's a little bit of a wave on the top and the bottom. So one of the things that you can do is just take and fold your work. And then just kind of fold it again. and then you can tie it with a ribbon. Then you can take and tie your favorite ribbon and then pair it with your favorite soap as a nice gift. 